Hello there, welcome to your October 2020 applied paper here we're looking at question 2. A random sample of 15 days is taken from the large data set for Perth in June and July 1987. The scatter diagram in figure 1 displays the values of two of the variables for these days. Describe the correlation, it's a one mark question, so all we need to write here is that it is negative correlation. And there we are, that's the answer to part A, just one mark. Uh, the variables on the x-axis is daily mean temperature measured in degrees Celsius. Using your knowledge of the large data set, suggest which variable is on the y-axis and state the units that are used in the large data set for this variable. So what we've got here is a variable that's going to be negatively correlated with daily mean temperature and potentially this variable could be exactly zero and there'd be a range of different values in between. So it's unlikely to be something like cloud cover because there's lots of um, different potential values of this y variable whereas uh, cloud cover is measured in octars which is just eighths so we'd only see eight potential data values there. Uh, and remember that the Perth data set is the reduced data set where we only have a set number of variables. The variable that we do have, however, is rainfall. So rainfall is the answer to B part I, and rainfall is measured in millimetres um, where there is potential for you to have zero millimetres of rain or a very small amount of millimetres of rain millimetres of rain in one day. So the answer there is rainfall and measured in millimetres. Okay, let's move on to part C now. Stav believes that there is a correlation between daily total sunshine and daily maximum relative humidity at Heathrow. So that is a different set of variables in a different place to the graph that we've just seen. So don't get drawn in the fact that this is negative correlation. Um, we're going to read the question. He calculates the product moments correlation coefficients between these two variables in a random sample of 30 days and obtains R is equal to minus 0 0.377. Now Stav doesn't actually have any indication of whether he believes there's negative correlation or positive correlation. Uh, so when we come to do our hypothesis, in fact, let's jump to it now. When we come to do the hypothesis for this distribute for this um, when we come to do the hypothesis for this hypothesis test, the alternate hypothesis is that there is just going to be no correlation. This is effectively now going to turn it into a two-tailed test. Even though we can see that the correlation is minus 0 0.377, which is indicating negative correlation, there's no suggestion in this first sentence that whether staff believes there's positive or negative correlation, so therefore we just have to go with a two-tail test. Either way, part C. Carry out a suitable investigation, a suitable test to investigate staff's belief at a 5% significance level, clearly stating your hypothesis, great, we've done that, um, is a two-tail test. Um, now what that will mean is because it's to the 5% significance level, it's going to be 2.5% each side. 2.5% each side. So actually we're going to use the 2.5 significance column uh, for this um, hypothesis test. So in this case here our R value is minus 0 0.377. Let's go to the formula booklet where it will give our um, critical value. So the critical value, now the hypothesis, the um, critical value, the formula booklet is going to give us our critical value. We're doing this to the 0 0.025 value and we've got 30 30 is our data set size our n value so we'll go across and we'll come down and we get this value here 0 0.3601 uh, now that's both positive and negative it will be this value for positive correlation and the negative of this value for negative correlation so actually we're going to have minus 0 0.3610 so therefore, as the critical value is more than the PMCC or the PMCC is less than the critical value, there is evidence to reject H0 and evidence there is correlation between the two variables. The PMCC value is closer to minus 1, which is the negative correlation, than the critical value. So it's on the side 
of it's more on the negative side of the critical value closer to minus one so therefore it's closer towards that negative correlation that we're looking for so um, there is evidence that the two variables are correlated so there we are that's the answer to part c let's now move on to part d on a random day at heathrow the daily maximum relative humidity was 97 percent so quite a high amount of humidity uh, comment on the number of hours of sunshine you would expect on that day giving a reason for your answer well given that these are the two variables that we've just shown that has um, a negative correlation we've seen here in the previous question daily total sunshine and daily maximum relative humidity um, has is negatively correlated uh, so therefore given that daily relative humidity is high we would expect hours of sunshine to be lower than average to be lower than average and that's what you have to say you don't have to give an estimation of what you would say the daily total number of hours of sunshine is you just have to say it's lower than average and that that's all it's got in the mark scheme for you to write as well uh, and the reason for that is because 97 sounds quite high well it's a percentage isn't it 97 is definitely going to be quite high given that they're negatively correlated you could even write that as a little reason given that they are negatively correlated given that they are negatively correlated Okay, so there we are. That's the answer for this question here. It's a seven mark question. It's question two from the October 2020 paper. Let's now move on to question three.